I think the key benefits for, for Strathclyde being part of the cluster with Open University and um, with Ulster, one was the person himself, Peter was absolutely excellent, so I think that that definitely influenced a lot of our opinions about the critical friend process and the camel meetings etc. He was absolutely excellent so I want to get that point out there straight away. Um, I think just having a go-between and a link with the centre um, really helpful to have someone who is able to arbitrate if need, if need be um, because we had a lot of big personalities in the team and we had a lot of things that um, we all felt were very important and it was nice to have someone there to just sort of try to join up all those conversations and keep us on track sometimes um, so that we didn't go veering off into other directions. Um, and just to have a dedicated communication person I think is really important because most of us on the project had other parts to our role other than just work. We, we also have other things that we do in the university so it's really hard um, sometimes to, things can drift and I think Peter always made sure that it never drifted over the four years. It's a long time to keep that going, it's a long time to keep the momentum, it's a long time to keep the, even just with people changing sometimes in the team, to keep the links alive. Um, so I think um, we were, the role of the critical friend was really pivotal in keeping us all on track okay. with that. And what, what do you think are the, the key skills, really, attributes, mm. key, um, key elements that make a, a, a good, really good, effective critical I think friend. objectivity. Um, someone who has an understanding of the whole sector um, and the pressures of the sector. Again, Peter never expected us to do... He was quite realistic in his expectations of what we could achieve in the time frames that we had or what we could achieve in line with the, the wider objectives that just could set him... Um, so he was he was quite realistic. He wasn't um, overly demanding, which was ideal. I suppose it's kind of like a someone that's there in the background without always being in your face, looking for you to do things. I think that was really helpful. Um, I think a great facilitator. I think someone that can keep us going, but not he let us talk as well. He, he wasn't always um, straight in. Um, leading us down a JISC path. He, he was quite happy to let us all talk about our own context and our own university and I think that was really important um, because I think sometimes if you had someone that was drawing you back all the time into, oh, but this is what the programme want, we maybe wouldn't have come up with some of the, the things that we did because we it was a more organic process. Um, sense of humour, I think, is important as well. Um, again, there's lots of personalities in the room and lots of different... Um, um, we managed to achieve quite a, a, there was a confidence as well with our critical friend, he was like a confidant, we were all able to talk to him and I think because he was like that, um, we all got to know each other quite quickly and we could, all, we could all speak quite freely and quite openly in our clusters and that really helped us. Um, there was no... Um, there was no kind of concerns about speaking our mind or speaking openly, everything ticked along nicely. Um, so yeah, I think I think those things, I don't know how you find them, they're quite hard to find in people, but diplomacy, objectivity, sense of humour and a knowledge, a real in-depth knowledge of the sector, I think was, was what we needed. And in terms of sort of this, the kind of context you would think a critical friend would work effectively in terms of the types of projects that they, they would be most helpful in or, or, or effective in? Did, yeah. did you get a sense I, of that? I think because of the nature, the long term nature of the programme um, that we were involved in, it was really important to have that continuity. I think for the, the four Four years is a long time, things change, thing, and, and Peter became like the friendly face that was always there, the friend. I mean, he was a friend, someone that you, you had been there from the start. So I think that is important if you can have someone who's there from the start right through so that you get the, the continuity, keep the momentum going. Um, again, with there being so many stakeholders, I think projects that involve lots and lots of stakeholders, you need someone to make those connections. Um, it's also a massive programme for JISC to manage. And I don't think it would have been easy for them to manage it at the level of detail that um, the, the critical friends allowed them, that, that other sort of arm to help them. Because I think it would have been a massive challenge if you didn't have them to go through to keep things focused in the clusters. Um, and even again, just this confidant idea, because um, institutional change pro projects are tough. Um, 
they can be very political, they can be very cha they change, particularly over the four years, and having someone that you could go to to as the first point of contact if things maybe weren't going as well as, as you'd hoped they would go um, was really, really useful, really useful. Great. And you, you touched on there about, um, obviously, the, their role as facilitator in the mm -hmm. CAMEL process. Yeah. How, how valuable was having a critical friend taking on that facilitation lead in, in actually... It was invaluable. I don't think it would have had. I don't think you would have done half the things that you had done if you don't have that dedicated person who just keeps it all going and keeps us all in line with. Um, I think Peter became a bit like our alarm clock where we knew that the email would come in. Right, we're all ready to, to mobilise for action, but we were quite comfortable in in the quiet periods because we felt as if he had it all under control. He was communicating with the the wider team. And bringing back the messages to us, so we were quite confident to go with whatever he, whatever directions he gave us. So it took a bit of pressure off us, I think, mm -hmm. um, because it's hard enough doing the actual work. Never mind worrying about all the other administrative things that go with it, all the other deadlines, all the other activities that are going on. So that it took a bit of pressure out of the situation for the projects, I think. Okay. Yeah, and um, would you would you engage a critical friend in any future projects, even though even mm -hmm. if that weren't offered by JSC or whatever fund do you go with? Did, would would you see that? Definitely, as a really yeah. I think it's a really good role. idea. In fact, I think the the wider um, camel idea, I think, is a really really good idea. I think um, again, just this point about it being four years, it's a mm. long time, and it's very very hard to keep contact with people. But I think because we had the social. Um, going for dinner, going for lunch, the actual model itself um, and the consistent face of the critical friend always being there and, and driving those activities I think really helped because I could pick up the phone to people that I maybe hadn't seen for a, a year because of the way the projects worked um, but I knew them because we had been out for dinner and we'd spent so I do, I think that model works really really well um, and just having Peter there as that sort of advisory person, always the go-between and between us all, made sure that we kept in touch and he was quite good at um, contacting people on our behalf when it was necessary but also good at encouraging us to say well why don't you contact Ulster and you both arrange that or why don't you contact Open University so encouraging us to, to establish those relationships between ourselves as well so yeah I would definitely definitely go for it again if it was on offer or even think about something similar I'm thinking about how we could use some of that method in some of the project teams that we use uh, within the university as well because I think often um, if you work with different departments, different faculties, different areas it's very very difficult um, to keep that degree of objectivity so having that facilitation role in a situation for any institutional wide project whether it's internal or external I think definitely a good thing.